This video is all about editing the background drawing. So in this case, I want to show you an example of a pretty rough PDF plan that I've been sent. And we're going to do our best to clean this up. So I'm going to go to Attach Background Drawing, Browse for File, select the file, and bring this in. Okay, so first I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. I'll go to background, rotate background, and negative 90 degrees. And now I'm going to rotate it to square it up because you can see it, this was scanned in so it's a little crooked. So I'll go to background rotate to square up wall. Click and drag all the way across this line. The longer the line, the better. Okay, that looks a little better. So now it's on to setting the scale. This has a scale on it, but since it was scanned in, I'm not really trusting of that scale but it's a good place to start from. So I will open plan settings and set a scale of 1 8. Now luckily there are some dimensions on this plan. If you don't have dimensions on a plan like this, it's worth it to get some field measurements if those are available. If they're not available, you may have to see if you can get some different plans. So it looks like this plan is actually fairly close to being on the scale. If you can see that, it's about 203 where it should be 202. So I'm going to come down and hit my enter just to create a room here. And double click on this wall and go to edit. And rescale to achieve a wall length and type in 202 feet. That's going to rescale it. Now, because this was scanned in, I'm also going to check the vertical scale just to double check that that is also correct. This is supposed to be 125 feet. And it's a little off, so I need to set the vertical scale independently of the horizontal scale. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'll drop a point out here and hit enter. Double click on this vertical wall so that I know it's selected. Go to edit, rescale to achieve a wall length, and type in 125. Okay. So because I've already set the scale for the horizontal dimension. I don't want to change that scale, so I'm going to select stretch and change this horizontal scaling factor to 1, which means that it will remain the same. And the vertical scaling factor, I'll leave that as is and select OK. And now I should get 125 for that dimension. and 202 for that dimension. You may also want to crop the background, so go to Crop Background and just select the area, click and drag to select the area that you'd like to crop. I also want to show you an uh, edit feature with DWG files. So with this DWG, I'll select the background by clicking on it, then go to Background Layer Control you can turn off the colors by unchecking this box, Show Colors, which is going to make the plan easier to see. And you can also turn on and off information on the plan uh, by checking these boxes. So if I click on some information, that will select the layer that it's on, and I can turn off that layer to get rid of that information. So this is good to clean up a plan that's a little too busy where you can't see the floor finishes. 
Again, it's background, layer control, and that's only available with DWGs, not PDFs. So that's it for editing the background. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. The next few videos will be about editing materials and editing your drawing.